Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're asked what is the product of the solutions to the equation? We've given the equation right here. So we're not actually looking for the solutions, we're actually being asked what happens when you multiply them. So I guess that means we're getting more than one. But if we write out that equation right here, just one equation with one variable, so we can solve it for that variable. First of all, we want to get rid of the parentheses, so let's do this. Distributes 5x times x is 5x squared. Minus 4 times 5x is minus 20x. And that's going to be set equal to, distributing again, 3x. 3 times negative 8 is minus 24 plus 6x on the end. Now we have a quadratic here, so we want to get everything over to one side and set it equal to 0. First of all, we can simplify this side, so keep this, set, this side the same. 5x squared minus 20x is equal to 3x plus 6x is 9x minus 24. Okay, and what we want to do here is we want to get everything over to one side, like I said. So subtracting 9x from both sides, adding 24 to both sides, and do it to both sides to keep everything equal. We're left with 5x squared minus 20x minus 9x is minus 29x and at plus 24. Okay, now you can do the quadratic formula or you can try and find the factors um, we're gonna have x plus or minus something times x plus or minus something. These two x terms have to multiply to 5x squared. There's only one way to do that while keeping it with integers, right? 5 is a prime number. It's only two factors are 1 and itself. So one of these is going to be 5, one of these is going to be 1. It doesn't really matter which one you do, so we'll make that one. And so we have negative here and positive here. So what does that mean? Well, if you have, let's say, x minus 1 times x minus 1, right? We factor this out, you're going to get x squared minus 2x minus 1. Or sorry, plus 1. So this, this is actually telling us that both of these are going to be negatives. Because the inner term and the outer term, right, this x squared minus x minus x, these terms are both staying negative. But then that last term, which is the 24 in this situation, we have a negative times a negative, which makes a positive. Okay, so 24 has a lot of factors. We have to see which one of them, when you add them up, is going to equal to 29 when we multiply one of them by 5. Okay, so we can do that. So we have 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, and 4 and 6. So we just go down this list until we find something that works. So 1 and 24, let's make 5. It's 1 times 5 plus 24 or 1 plus 5 times 24, right? So one of these is going to have to be multiplied by 5. We can check them both. We have 5 plus 24 is 29. 1 plus 5 times 24 is 121, if you plug that into your calculator. So we're actually find, we actually find it right away, right? Because we're looking for 29. So what does this mean? The 1 is going to be multiplied by 5. So we have to put that in here. If we put the 1 here, it would never be multiplied by the 5x, right? Because we're multiplying these two things by these two things not these two things by each other. So the 1 goes over here. That means the 24 has to go over here. And these are our two solutions. So for this product to be um, equal to 0, one of them has to be equal to 0. So 5x minus 24 equals 0. Or x minus 1 is equal to 0. Solving for x in both of these, we get 5x is equal to 24. Over here, we get x is equal to 1. Dividing by 5 on both sides, x is equal to 24 over 5, which you can't simplify, and then x is equal to 1. Okay, now we're, we're asked what is the product of the solution, so we have to multiply these. Luckily, that's not that hard. We have 24 over 5 times 1, which is 24 over 5. We're just multiplying it by 1, keeps it the same. 24, 5, 24 over 5 is our final answer. So always thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.